Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial, I'd like to share with you an easy way to understand whether or not your domain name or IP address has been blacklisted. Now you may ask the question, why would I ever want to know that? Well, here recently I've received a number of emails from customers um, that were stating that their email address, they sent an email address to a customer and it was rejected for some reason or another. And so, uh, what I'm going to show you is just a simple, easy tool to understand whether or not that is the case. So if you go to spamhaus.org, S-P-A-M-H-A-U-S.org, so spamhaus.org, uh, this is the Spam Haas project. And so it is a site that's built around, um, you know, basically list removal or you know, trying to figure out internet traffic, whether or not it's, um, I guess you'd say, whether or not traffic is a threat. And so there are certain things, um, certain email addresses, certain extensions that are deemed as uh, probably likely or highly spammable. Um, so that being said, what you're going to do is once you go to spamhaus.org, you're going to go to the block list removal section. And so um, you can go here and basically go to under the block list removal this orange section go to block list removal center and in the removal center basically what it is is it gives you two tools the first is an IP address lookup tool uh, that allows you to check and see whether or not a uh, that IP address has been blocked um, on any of the SBL, XBL, and PBL. So those are uh, basic list, known list um, for IP addresses to be blocked. The same thing is going to happen for the domain lookup tool with the exception that obviously it's going to look up the DBL, which is the domain block list. And it's gonna tell you whether or not that um, website or not is blocked. So. For instance, what you may uh, want to do, you know, you can use the IP um, tool lookup, but you'll need to have an IP address. What I'm going to do is basically use my own domain name and enter in that domain name, press lookup, and then it may take a few seconds for it to process so that it's basically running almost a VLOOKUP or a a lookup of some sort against your domain. Now the good thing is if the domain comes back and it is uh, green just like mine is listed here then that means as indicated here that the domain is not listed uh, meaning that it's in good status um, and that you know if you're getting email reject messages uh, which say that it's listed then um, you know you'll have to basically go to the FAQ section of the uh, spam Haas FAQ section for a possible solution for that. If it is listed, then likely is the case, it's going to list the domain and it's also going to list, um, it'll, it'll actually link, and I wish I had an example of one that was blocked, but I can't think of one that come to mind. But needless to say, it will explain why the address is listed and what to do to have it removed from those lists. And that's for both um, the domain itself as well as the IP address. That being said, use Spam Haas, like I said, to understand or get a good readout um, or possible readout on whether or not your domain or IP address is uh, blacklisted or blocklisted um, just using the simple blocklist removal centers tools for IP and domain lookup. That being said, that's it for this tutorial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, Kickstart Commerce, where I basically, I, I come on and I release every Wednesday a uh, video that's either going to target, you know, some search marketing tips or tricks, uh, WordPress tips, tricks, and how-tos, as well as domain name investing strategies. Uh, and domain name strategies in general just to grow your business. Also, please don't forget to visit kickstartcommerce.com uh, where, where I share search marketing and domain name strategies to grow your business. Come over here to the right-hand side where you see the daily scoop here and subscribe to that to where I share with you 
um, daily information that you'll need to know in regards to uh, marketing or growing an online business. Also, I include domain auctions, so expired auctions that expire daily that come across my radar of people who have forgotten to renew their domains or just domains in general that no longer have websites on them that used to have websites on them. Um, so subscribe to this newsletter to receive all of that information. Thanks, and that's all for now.